Today is the 25th of July. Whoa! Okay, I gotta clean that. But um, basically today we did IV. And the reason why you saw blood all over my arm was because when my partner was doing it on me, I bled um, onto my arm and then onto the bed as well. So I think a tip for you guys is if you're ever doing IV, once you have the catheter in, you want to occlude the vein. So go proximal to the vein where you inserted the needle and then you want to press it so that the blood doesn't flow into the catheter like when you're taking out the vein. That's just my biggest tip because when I did it for my partner, I did that immediately and there was no blood dripping out like there was um blood coming into the catheter initially but if you include it enough it's not going to drip out and like onto the table and everything and also another tip is to have chucks or like things laid underneath so that if you do bleed that catches because i bled onto the the bed like i said so um whoa that looks so bad like I did not know that the blood went all the way over there. Now I'm gonna go to the gym for a little and then afterward I'm gonna go to the cafe to study because we have our emergency medicine exam tomorrow. Tomorrow we're learning splinting and I think casting which is also very fun. Wednesday oh, we're doing suturing. Thursday we're doing ABGs and uh, PPDs, so tuberculin like under the skin. And then Friday we have our last exam ever it's for physical exam and diagnostic modalities and then pretty much it for all the curriculum the following week is our last week of didactic year in which we are doing a whole bunch of onboarding events for clinicals and orientations and all that and then also um, i have to get fit tested for a n95 mask good morning guys um i just took my last medicine exam and Honestly, it wasn't terrible, but uh, it could have been because it was for emergency, so it was a little comprehensive and a little bit of everything. And it's fitting because my first rotation is on emergency medicine, so it works out for me. Right now, I think we have clinical labs today, like we're learning how to do blood glucose drawing and then also splinting and casting, but People are still taking the exam, I think, so I think we're waiting to see when that finishes. It's always on the street. I know. <gasps> it's Syrah! Hi, Syrah. Is this a vlog? Yeah. Do you want to say hi? Who is that? It's, so, it's my vlog. <laughs> Anyways. You're so cute. We got, um, what's this called again? The glucose finger, finger stick? stick? Yeah. Oh, there's poop on the floor. And we're all stressed. Yeah. And Trust we had now. our last medicine exam today. How was it? Good. It was good. Happy. Yeah, we have Getting one Chipotle. more. What's the best reward? Chipotle. Oh, I was like, what's the best? Is this going on YouTube? Yes. Aww. She's famous. Bye, guys. I'm not. Bye. Okay. Anyway, so right now we're walking to Chipotle because Jenny is apparently hypoglycemic. <laughs> 49. I'm actually sweating, though. That's bad. Yeah. Am I going to have to carry you? You're going to pass that on me? No, carry me. Yeah, I'm not strong enough. Anyways, so are you getting chicken? Yes. Okay. 
I will show you her food later. <laughs> You're gonna show off my food? Mm -hmm. That's Jenny's food. It looks like crap now. No, it doesn't. Actually, it looks pretty good. I think it looks very colorful. Every time I get Chipotle, it does not look like that. Hey guys, so today we had suturing lab. Um, let's buy one of my scrubs again. These are actually the same scrubs that you get in the hospital. I just came back from lab and we were just practicing sutures on cadavers. I got a package today and I wanted to just share with you what it is so you can, can kind of see it here. Ever since I was little, I've always had a really weak stomach and what i mean by a weak stomach i mean that sometimes it just gets upset for no reason or it's really hard to digest certain foods and i kind of believe that my gut microbiome is probably not at its best and so i know a lot of people say like you don't need vitamins you don't need all of that other stuff as long as you're eating well and and stuff like that which i agree with if you don't need vitamins and supplements because you're getting all your nutrients and everything from your diet then obviously don't go ahead and over supplement but if you are doing all those dietary changes and you're still not seeing results i think it's okay to start a supplement or even just do research on what you could potentially take to help you so i wanted to try this probiotic prebiotic supplement so they call it a symbiotic and basically what that means is you have both components and this specific one is packaged in a double capsule meaning that the bacteria that's actually in it will be able to travel to the end portion of your colon because of that second capsule so your stomach has a ton of hydrochloric acid enzymes whatnot to break down all your food anything you eat so this the purpose of the double capsule is that it can have better bioavailability further down in your GI tract. I heard really good things about this brand called Seed. I think it's $50 a month, but if you're a student or a healthcare worker, teacher, military um, veteran, I think, you get 15% off. I just wanted to try it to see if it was any good. Obviously, if it's not good, then I'll just stop taking it, but you never know until you try. So. I just wanted to show you guys the packaging because I think it's really, really nice. It comes in this green box and then when you open it, here is this bottle. This is the DS01 Daily Symbiotic and it comes in a glass jar. I don't know if you can hear this, but... And it's dark tinted specifically so that it doesn't get altered by the sunlight. And then it also comes with this travel case. I'm going to go back to studying for my PE. EDM exam, which is on Friday, and that's the last exam that I have for didactic year. Just finished my last exam of the semester that actually counts. We still have some summatives, but they're just pass and fail. Hi guys, you might not be able to hear us because there's music in the back. Hello. And this whole oh my god, I can see it. This the shadow covers like my body like oh. right here. Oh, I see it now. Um, we are at Queen's Night Market. So we just got some food. Let's show them. So these are called... Uh, nope, they're not our bus. Katsapas? But this is what they look like. They're like a... Like even before you said like another country, I literally was like South yeah. Korea. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go for something like Europe or something. Oh no. Okay. I actually don't have that much of a desire oh. to go to Europe. Really? Yeah. Okay, so this is the other thing that we got. It's called Sea Bao. 
<laughs> if you're Chinese, it's like, oh. yeah, it sounds so bad. <laughs> but we got a bulgogi. One of these is a Korean bulgogi, and then the other one is a regular Peking duck. Oh, this is a Peking duck. My question for you is if you could have a car one day, any brand, any color, yes. what would your dream car be? To be honest, I don't really have much dream, like whatever thing. First of all, it's a car. I don't know much about cars anyway. I just, a good one that's like a good size for me to drive and something I won't get into an accident with is good enough for me. My dad always says Japanese cars are better, so mm. I guess it's Lexus, Japanese. Lexus? Lexus? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what's like cars either. I think when I was younger, I always wanted something like a, like a Mercedes or a or a Porsche. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's, <laughs> oh my god. That's what <laughs> Tiffany wants. Then we got fish balls and this Filipino burger, which I do not know how to say. If you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Not even like one artist. No, not an artist, one song. Like I feel like the one song I've never gotten tired of is Microcosm. I knew you were gonna say it! Okay, so Tiffany got these Hakka style meatballs. I thought they were super so, like in the picture they looked like orangey mm. and like less brown. They just <laughs> look like meatballs but like spiced differently. Yeah. And then this is Taiwanese chicken and that's cuttlefish. And we still have our Portuguese tarts that we didn't try yet. And then she also got a mint tea. Guys, we're gonna try the burger and I wanna get her reaction because she never eats burgers. <laughs> yeah, the sauce is good. The meat, I like better than a regular like American burger because it, it's like a little sweeter. The next question is after you've graduated college, what are your plans? I'm getting a job, which I'm in the process of right now. So I'm filling out the forms, they're doing background checks, clearance, stuff like that. I should be hearing back from HR pretty soon. So this is going to be a job that I'm doing. I'm going to hopefully use it to like get experience those things for my plan was to pretty much get some work experience for about like at least a year first before going back to school all right guys so i just ended my clinical exam um and honestly i think it could have gone better but this is a learning experience so i'm not completely upset that i got the diagnosis wrong i was along the right track and i think like even when the proctor was telling me um like she was debriefing with me she walked me through it and we kind of like talked it out which i liked a lot because that's what my proctor is there for so i'm just glad that i was able to talk it out with her and she did say that i did pretty well so um I think I generally hit all the big things of what they wanted us to do. Guys, this week is literally the last week of like everything. Good morning guys. Today I'm going to get fit tested for my N95. Guys, I'm sad because today I thought it was going to be a good day because it's my last day of didactic year, which means that we're taking our pack route today. I packed my lunch. I packed my gym bag. I was going to go to the gym after class, basically. And I'm driving on the highway and this rock hits my windshield. And now there's a crack on it. So we're not off to a good start today. Um, I just finished my training for the EMR program that we're gonna be using at the hospital. So that's why I was on campus for a little bit. But now I'm gonna go meet up with Tiffany because we're gonna get some boba. Okay, so the crack is right here. And it's actually really hard to show you because it never focuses, but I'll put my finger here so you can kind of see it. 
and um, yeah, I basically was driving and then it just hit the thing and the crack appeared on my window. Okay, so anyways, this is a new place that we went to. I don't know how to say it. I'm not gonna try. Salcha. Um, I got a milk black tea with brown sugar jelly, which is interesting. I've never had anything like this before. Tiffany got... I got, it's actually strawberry. There it is. I mean, it's, I have a peach oolong tea with nata, je nata, nata jelly. I don't know. I like the jelly. It looks really pretty though. Pretty? Yeah. And there's strawberries inside. Yeah, and now we're gonna try it. So, uh, how was it? The brown sugar jelly thing. What is it like? It just tastes like jelly, but it's just weird because I never like you expect something chewy, but it's more like crunchy. Huh? Hmm? Like jelly. Jelly texture crunchy. Yeah, I also got my mom a pineapple green tea with natto jelly. And then for the kids, I got fruit flavored stuff. I got like a strawberry yogurt and then slush and then another slush type thing but she said it was mango mango green tea mm. and i was like oh and then she was like it's a slushy kind of drink and i was like okay that's fine and then i got my sister a rose oolong milk tea all right we'll see you guys later oh my gosh my hair is bye 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 so now that the semester is over um and didactic year is over which is so strange to me because i still feel like i know nothing but we know a decent amount. I'm actually editing the vlog right now and I just came on to film an outro for the video. One of my future videos that I wanna film is something about like what I plan on taking to clinicals. I'm trying to watch a whole bunch of videos on what to bring or stuff like that, like what to keep in your white coat pocket. I can't seem to find any specifically for PAs. A lot of them are residents or nurses and I think it'd be nice to find one that caters towards a PA. So I'm going to try to film that. Although I don't even know what I should be bringing. I'm just, I'm probably gonna bring like everything I even have. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.